All right, good morning, everybody. So it's time to rise and shine. Let's find that little spot on your mat, and we're gonna make these next 60 minutes all about you. So as you always stand, toes, heels, exactly the touch, right? So that's your big toes, heels, touch, establishing that strong foundation from the start. And we're gonna focus that one point in yourself in the mirror. We're gonna go ahead and interlock the fingers, place them underneath the chin. And let's check in right away from the start. The lower body is solid. So it's gonna be grounding the weight in the heels, pushing the knees back. Thighs are nice and tight with the stomach in. And let's keep it moving nice and slow. We're gonna inhale for one, two, slowly elbows up, three, four, five. Let's lengthen and lift a little bit higher for six. Exhale, six. Now we're looking at the ceiling, five, looking farther back, four. Same time we go hands, palms. As the elbows touch, they're up away from the chest. And as we inhale, elbows spread out and then up, right? Your elbows never drop down. It's your chin down parallel to the floor. Let's wrap the hands around the chin. Let the elbows right up to their highest peak. So now, where are we looking? Farther back. So gradually trace the eyes along the ceiling. Slowly work the elbows to touch up away from the chest. And we're going to squeeze out all stale air to fully inhale nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. And it's that slow rhythm, just moving the arms and the head. Let's lengthen and lift the elbows right up to the ceiling, full lungs. Exhale now, keep the lift in the elbows. So we got head dropping back. Same time, hands, palms, elbows now touch up away from the chest and let's go nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. Now remember, mouth closed. You're breathing in through the nose, but you feel that snoring vibration in the back of the throat, main passageway, inhale a little more. Exhale right away, mouth is wide open like I'm your dentist. Let's make it loud, ha sound as we got head back. As the elbows touch, pointing up to the mirror, squeeze it all, still air out, and let's get nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. And it's that slow rhythm. You're just moving the arms and the head. So let's lengthen elbows up. Exhale, so gradually the head back slowly the elbows touch below your head your spine is long and strong and let's get the elbows stretch forward the mirror and let's again nice slow chin down elbows up now check in the lower body's been solid so chin down elbows up we got all weight in the heels thighs tight stomach and let's keep it in as you exhale our lower body saw is gonna relax your shoulders let's round the shoulders Elbows stretch forward to the mirror and let's go nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. So we got all weight in the heels. Thighs tight, stomach in. You got rib cage expanding as you got to inhale a little more elbows up. And exhale, la, la, ha, sound where we look farther back. Out, hunching back. We go elbows point up, up to the mirror, away from the chest. And we're going to go. Nice, slow, give me three more. Okay, so this is where we set up your class. So we got stomach and feel the rib cage expand. Feel like you're full, a little more elbows up. Exhale, smooth the rhythm, head dropping back. Out, hunching back, we round shoulders, elbows stretch forward to the mirror. And as we go, slow motion, these last two, we're never in a race, slower the better, the more you're gonna use your lungs. Now, when it feels like you're full, you expand the lungs. You inhale more and more, even a little bit more, then let it go, All right? You know the feeling, right? It feels like you're full, but you gotta realize you're never full. There's always more room for more air. So elbows stretch forward, squeeze out every drop of air to fully inhale. And last one, let's make it the biggest, best breath of your life. So we got Thighs tight, stomach in. Let's get taller. Got to lengthen the spine, chest. Let's go elbows up and up, full lungs. And then that smooth rhythm, head dropping back. Slowly the hands, palms, elbows touch up away from the chest, spine straight. Squeeze your arms, squeeze it all out and let it go. Arms are going to float down, looking very good to start out. Now we keep the toes, heels together as you go right in half moon pose, arms up. 
you know, lock the fingers, go to release the next fingers, thumbs crossed, right away we're gonna look to lock the arms as if you have no elbows. Glue the palms as tight as you can, so ultimately there's no gap between the palms. You can't slide a credit card between. Now with the weight in the heels, we're gonna lengthen up, bend right, left. So you notice our little warm up here, getting a nice stretch down each side of the body. And as you're moving left and right, I want you to think about grazing the ceiling and the arc of your stretch, right? It's also about lengthening up and over. Most importantly, throughout mouth closed, you're breathing steady and consistently in out of the nose. That's your fuel. And as we go a couple more times, right, left, let's stop in the middle and stand tall. So this is where we're gonna ground the weight in the heels, hips forward a little bit with the upper body back slightly. And so again, relock those arms strong. Ultimately, there's no elbows, arms locked, no gaps between the palms. Tight grip, deep inhale, full lung stretch up, bend right, Fifth is left. Now we're in it for a minute. So I want you to pace your cells. Right? So I'm not killing your cells right away. You go right where you meet that initial resistance. You might be a little bit off of vertical, but we're focusing on your form. Are your arms really locked, right? Ultimately, you want to feel those biceps jammed against the head. Palms tighter than you think as you press the fingers into the back of the hands. Now from the start, it's been all weight in the heels, pushing the knees back. Thighs tight, stomach in, out to your arms, legs lock, creating that dynamic stretch. Feel it, heels to fingertips, with the chin up, breathe, then steady and out of the nose, most important ingredient. Now let's rock the weight back in the heels. Hips forward a little bit, upper body back slightly, and as you move with your breath, inhale, we're gonna start to naturally lengthen, stretch up out of the waist. So we're gonna to start to push the hips out a little deeper, farther. So you can exhale, come down, push. Get nice three sets, come right back up. Now with the arms still strong, weight in the heels. Now that deep inhale, full long stretch up. Bend left, shift hips right. Now we're in it for a minute. Once again, just find your pace. Right, you just go where you meet that initial resistance. I'm not concerned about how far you're bending down. More importantly. Do you feel a stretch on the right side of the body by keeping the arms, legs locked? So from the bottom up, let the weight in the heels. Knees back, thighs tight, stomach in. I wanna see those biceps against the head with the chin up, breathing steady in a somewhat relaxed face. And then we try to bridge the gap between the thumbs, right? That tight, tight grip with your arms, legs locked and feel it in the body. Literally that stretch, heels to fingertips, Open the body, bones to scan. Now with the weight in the heels. Hips forward a little bit. Upper body back, slightly looking so good. Now give me 12 seconds, right? You have your form. Let's breathe, explore a little deeper. Inhale, we lengthen, stretch up a little bit more. Exhale, we push those hips out beyond flexibility. Got to push. Yeah, nice leg. Let's come right back up. Now arms still strong. We're going to... Drop your head back, and it's all the way back, right? I've never seen a head fall off. You gotta let it go all the way. And you're still breathing in out of the nose. Inhale, gonna reach, stretch up to the ceiling, and just start going back. And it's literally looking back and pointing back, long, long the ceiling, eventually along the wall. Now, same time. Push your stomach, legs, hips more forward. Arms go more back to the back wall. So that's trade off. Hips forward, arms back. Now, as you inhale, lift the heart up like you're lifting the heart up to the sky. Now, with the chest up, it's time to go back, look back, point back, and palms a little bit tighter. Look back, point back, and just go for it. Four, three, a little more. All right, good. Nice and out to come right back up. Let that settle for a second. We're going to lengthen up, stomach in. And let's go the other way. So as we hinge forward, we take a little time to dance, shake your legs, shake your hips, make sure everything is nice, loose, and comfortable. And of course, drop your head down. Your head about 10, 12 pounds. You don't have to hold up, right? We hold it up all day. So just let it go, shake it out. Yes, no. Run a couple squat down bounces. Let's wake up those joints. And then we're gonna go in for potastas of hands to feet. So now hands to feet, we're gonna squat down halfway, cup the hands right underneath the heel. So ideally, we're trying to get right behind those heels. So ultimately your pinkies are side by side. And then as best as you can, we're gonna bend the knees, wrap the elbows as far behind the calves, and then we pull. Now let's make sure it's a steady, constant pull. We got stomach on the 
thighs, chest, and the knees. You aim forehead to one day. It's right onto the shins and as your body against the legs like a sandwich. Keep pushing the knees back to the back wall. And as you do pull, lift the hips up. By now, feel in the body a stretch all over the back of the legs. That's the point. A little pain-like sensation in the back legs communicates it's working. So give me 10 seconds. Breathe steady. Keep on adjusting. You breathe. Roll forward. Hold more hips. Fire to lock the knees. Lock the knees and lock the knees. Awesome. Nice strong demand. Let's hinge up with the hips. Arms head together. Nice flat back. A nice transition up. And then it's just slow with the arms. Slow it down. Right? We're never in a race. Slow motion movement. And then just stand tall, breathe, couple deep breaths, let all that good work assimilate. And then we look forward to doing it again, of course, round two. So toes, heels still together. We're going to get arms up and locked. And let's take the time in the setup, right? And you know how it is. It's not the easiest thing, but you're locking the arms as strong as you can, palms tight as you can, and you realize it should be hard work right here. Now with the weight in the heels, inhale, full long stretch up. Bend right, shift your left, go right, where you meet that initial resistance, and right, your arms don't suddenly bend. If anything, they get locked solid more, palms a little bit tighter, and let's kind of rock the weight back in the heels. Thighs tight, stomach in. I want you to feel grounded in the floor. Inhale, let's start to lengthen, stretch up a little bit. Exhale, go to push. I want you to think about holding on the left arm with the right arm as you push the hips out. Push and change. Come right back up. Arms still strong. Weight in the heels. Into that deep inhale. Full long stretch up. Bend left. Shift hips right. So we're always in that straight line. And you know, first foremost, about your form. Right? It's not about how far you're bending down if we don't have your form. So let's check in. We got those arms, legs locked, right? Looking good. Hips, shoulders in line, restructuring the body. Now throughout, most important ingredient, that chin up, breathe, steady and out of the nose, right? Yoga is moving with your breath. So inhale, we're gonna naturally lengthen and stretch up. Exhale, gonna push, and gonna use strength. We got thighs tight, stomach in, and let's go. New flexibility, you gotta push and push and push. Awesome, good, nice, you must come right back up. Now, arms still strong, let the head go. Once again, just drop the head all the way back. Inhale, gonna reach, stretch up to the ceiling. Now, start going back, and you know how it is. 99% of it's mental, right? You can go backwards, so you start doing it. Just tracing the eyes and arms back. As you got that counterbalance, you push the stomach like hips forward. Hips go more forward, arms go more back, and as you feel it in the lower back, inhale, lift the heart up to the ceiling, to the sky. Now with that lift in the chest, this you gotta look back, point back, and you're looking eventually pointing, so let's go. Be and not afraid to look back, point back, go. Four, three, a little more. Yeah, nice, Jeff, let's come right back up. Now once you feel a nice jolt of energy, wakes the nervous system, we're gonna lengthen up, stomach in, and let's hinge at the hips, and then start dancing once again just a little time to loosen up shake your legs shake your hips let the head drop down and throw in a couple squat down bounces might hear some snap crackle pops in the joints waking them up and then let's squat down halfway cuff the hands right underneath the heels and let's go for that grip ultimately those pinkies side by side so working as best as you can wrapping the hands around Bend the knees, and I realize as you get the elbows as far behind the calves, so you got maximum leverage to pull. It should be a steady and constant pull throughout with your body against the legs like a sandwich, stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, ultimately part of that sandwich, forehead on the shin, so start aiming it there, and then little by little, we roll a little into the toes, push the knees back, let's pull, lift the hips. I want you to feel Biceps bulging. Use your upper body strength, opening the back legs. Give me 10 seconds. You got to breathe. Patty stomach and use the core. Roll into the toes. Use gravity. Pull hips up to the ceiling of the sky. Lock the knees. Awesome work. Strong to the end. We hinge up with that flat back arms head together. Just go nice and slow. 
arms are gonna float down and working so hard, right? And this, you gotta stand tall, chin up, chest open and breathe. Let it settle. You know, we keep flowing along, awkward pose next. So we're gonna step right foot out, six inches about hip width distance apart. And of course you gotta always use that two fist measurement between the feet, about six inches for you. Let's make sure the feet parallel like train tracks and then we get arms up, parallel to the floor. Right away, your arms solid, right? That means your elbows locked, triceps tight, and your five fingers are not separate, right? They are together, energized, reaching forward as you exhale, stomach in, sit right down. So go one motion in the chair, 100% weight in the heels. And you all know weight in the heels feels awkward. It's awkward pose. Now you reach like you're going to touch the that counter down. So as you inhale, you lift the chest. Arc to the back, you're gonna restructure the back, chest up, shoulder blades to the back, and I want you to lean back, way back into the back of the feet, a place known as the heels, lean into them and touch the mirror. Awesome, right to the edge, let's come up, onto the tippy toes, this has gotta be that super ballerina, all the way to the big and second toe. We're gonna to visualize a wall behind you, and as you slide, down. I want to see your heels come up and up and you know priority numero uno heels up and up as high as they go up and we start sliding down leaning against that imaginary wall spine straight now maybe a little on their chair a little higher in the toes breathing and out of the nose and it's mind over matter four three two one good nice job gonna slide up no arms still solid so keep your composure third part a little bit in the feet, jam the knees like it's one knee. We're gonna visualize a wall behind you with a straight spine, somewhat relaxed face, sliding down an imaginary wall. Helps you go slow is jamming those knees together, right? Now ultimately we go down to the hips slightly above the knees, knees down, chest up, hold, patience, feeling pretty good. Maybe bounce a couple of times. Let's go bounce and bounce. And we hold at the Top into the bounce, jam those knees. And it's got to be your own slow five count, right? Sliding up against that wall. And don't expect it to be easy, right? You want to challenge yourselves, building that physical, mental strength, and then learning to let it go. Right foot back, stand tall, breathe. Moving on. We got ego pose next, opening up all your major joints. A little water break after this. So let's get arms up. Go. Right under left. So first elbows underneath, then the palms to touch as you can. All right, good. We're going to pull the elbows up and down, loosen up a little bit, bend down into the knees nice and low. Get low, stay low, chest up. Together, we're going to go right high up over. So it's up over. As you're ready, got to wrap the foot around the calf. If not working towards it, we got your chest. Up, you keep arching upper body back with more weight to the heel, and then sitting low is gonna twist those legs more as we pull the elbows down and in and arch back, arch back a little lower, tighter, squeeze. Good, go right in on their side. We got our arms up and back on the right. Get your grip, pull the elbows up and down. And then in the setup, get down as low as you can. Maybe bounce down a couple of times. Get your lowest point, hold chest up. We go left leg high, up over. I you get the leg up more working into that twist, right? Little by little, wrapping that foot around the calf. Now, you know our tendency is to hover forward, but we don't want to hover forward. So let's keep arching up right back. That nice open chest, looking proud in ego pose as you go arch back. Way to the heel, pulling the elbows down, seeing how low you can go. You'll get limbo, gotta sink down and down. Now arch back, squeeze, freeze, concentrate. There it is. Awesome focus to the end. We got our arms up, down, we stand tall, breathe, and we got a little step forward. Party time. Awesome warm up. Right, so far so good. So once we do get that little sip, we're gonna keep that focus, keep it moving. So as we step back to the mat, same spot you started, toes, heels together again, signaling, you are ready to move along, right? Realizing these next few postures, we're tuning up 
concentration. So right about now, you're shifting all of your focus. Only thing that matters is locking your left leg. You're pushing the left knee back. You're pulling up on the left thigh tight. There is no knee. Now your right leg comes up, thigh parallel to the floor, stomach in, round down, and get your best grip. Now, understand we're never racing through the posture, right? You're not, maybe you stay a little more upright, that where that's where your practice is for today maybe you round down grab as far along your shin some of you get that grip below the toes now wherever you are it's one point focus on your left leg pushing the knee back pulling up in the thigh there is no knee now as the weight comes to the side of the foot press that big left toe down big left toe down now you feel on that leg solid concrete 10 feet below the ground we're gonna gently kick the right heel forward to the mirror flex the toes back so you're kicking the heel away from you flexing the toes towards you, kicking and flexing till eventually both legs lock. And both legs lock, stomach in and in. Elbows working down below. Now let's press that big left toe down to the floor, hold it strong, those you kick. Heel out more, toes in more, pull harder and hold. Awesome, nice strong hold. We're gonna burst out, stand tall, give that a nice, Deep inhale, lax on, then we shift all our focus to the right leg. Push the right knee back, pull up on the right thigh tight. In it for a minute, left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, stomach in, get your grip. And again, it's that minute meditation on lock, lock the leg. That's your mantra, lock, lock the leg. No bend in the knee, pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh, there is no knee. Now the weight tends to come to the side of the foot. So we keep pressing the big right toe down and down, evenly distributing the weight. Now it's never a race, but you're feeling that leg, again, concrete, 10 feet below the ground. Gently kick the left heel towards the mirror, flex the toes, those you kick, heel out, Toes in, little by little, both legs lock. As you got both legs lock, use your core, stomach in and in, go elbows down below the calves. These last few seconds, wherever you are, strong, stronger, and strongest. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Again, that strong hold to the end. Very nice. Let's go hands on hips. Quick little drop or bend. Feels wonderful. Let the head drop back. And then we got. Second set. So you're gonna find yourselves just once again, those toes, heels together, always that bottom up foundation, pushing the left knee back, pulling up in the thigh, right leg up, round down, and get your grip. And just keep that focus, right? Some of us stay with the first part, let's build that foundation, push the knee back, pull up in the thigh to your leg is 10 feet below the ground. Once you feel that, kick right heel towards the mirror, left the toes back. Now heel away from you, toes towards you. We get stretch in the Achilles tendon. Now little by little, both legs locked, elbows working down below the calves. As the elbows go below, finish off chain and stomach and for the knees, strong, steady, and still three, two. Now let's pull. And reverse out, awesome, so good. Nice standing and reverse out, give me that nice deep inhale. Nice deep back, so give me one more. Okay, hang in, last side set. Right leg 10 trillion feet below the ground. Without too much thinking, we're looking for action. We go left leg up, stomach in, get to work, right? 30 seconds your day, try your best, right? Patience comes to play, right? You fall out. Big deal, you get back in. Now you feel your legs solid, concrete, not going anywhere, okay, okay. left heel forward, flex toes. Kicking the heel out, flexing the toes, little by little, both legs locked. So you got both legs locked, stomach in, elbows working down below the calves. Now you are still breathing steady, elbows below, again, let's go, chin in, stomach in, forward to the knee, strong still right here, it is statuesque, four, Three, two, one. And then it's going to reverse out opposite way. Everybody working so hard there. And then just let it go. Hands on hips, head drops back. Forget about it. We got standing bow. Always a bit more fun. So we still got your toes, heels together for alignment. 
Here, we're gonna go right arm out, elbow the waist, palm up like you're holding the tray. Now, without turning the wrist, straight down for that inside grip. All right, so when we're trying to get the knees together for alignment, and then we're just working on it, that left leg 10 feet below the ground. Left arm, you're reaching up to your ceiling. Now with the chin up, stretch up, give me that strong kick back and up. And I want you to just give time for a set to let the kick gradually bring the body down, right? As you just kick back, back and up. The kick is the engine of the posture. Now the body comes down from the kick all the while. Keep the chin up, chest lifted, and that left arm better be solid like a sword. Your elbow lock, tricep tight. Five fingers are aiming to the eyes like a bullseye. We got a strong kick, strong stretch. That's the formula to balance for eternity, right? Now, of course, it's yoga practice, not yoga perfect. So you fall out, big whoop, right back in. 15 seconds, see what you can do. That strong kick, eventually something in a kick. See toes right over the middle of your head. Now kick more, that left arm reaching forward. Right shoulder shifts back and it's a little deeper. Kick more harder, chest down, reach forward and kick. Good, nice and actually reverse out and just find your breath, right? Heart by design should be going up. It's cardiovascular, so you gotta regulate your breathing. Couple deep breaths in between. Most importantly, breathe steady and out of the nose and the posture. So last of the minute postures, we go left arm out, palm up. Straight down for that inside grip. So we'll go knees together for alignment. Right leg 10 feet below the ground. Right arm reaching up. Now feel the whole right side energize. And so go in it for a minute. Chin up, stretch up, and it better be strong. Kick, back and up, back and up. Kicking as far away from the butt, up to the ceiling. That right arm solid with those five, five fingers together. Aim, aim to the eyes and just focus on the mechanics you got a strong kick you balance with a strong stretch and you find the balance it's not something outside of yourself it's from you it's your kick your stretch balancing yourself so give me 15 seconds with control explore deeper body down and kick stretch for a kick so you're gonna kick see toes right over the middle of your head kick more that right arm reaching forward Left shoulder sits back. Now right here, kick that up to the sky. More, four, chest down, kick. And just find your breath, right? Normal to kind of move around everywhere. The best thing is to be still, stand tall, breathe, to reset, recover. And you know the redo is half the time, twice the fun. 30 seconds, right arm out, palm up, straight down for that inside grip. All right, so we'll go knees together for 11. Left leg 10 feet below the ground, left arm reach up to the ceiling. Now one point focus, 30 seconds, chin up, stretch up, that strong kick, back, back and up. Simultaneously that strong stretch, that left arm solid with the chin up, best lifted and it's all mechanic. Strong kick, stretch, equal opposite, 50. 50, law of physics, you balance for eternity. Now 10 seconds as we go a little deeper, body down, kick, stretch forward, kick. You're like you might fall, you kick and you kick and you kick, chest down, reach for kick and kick and kick, chest down and kick. Awesome, there it is, strong kick. Really good, everybody, now one more. Close out, last side set, 30 seconds of your day. We got left arm out, palm up. Straight down for that inside grip. And so go knees together for alignment. Right leg 10 feet below the ground, so go right arm reach up to the ceiling. Now whole right side energized, chin up, stretch up, and it better be strong. Kick gradually, gracefully, bringing your body down with that right arm solid. Nothing bent wobbly in that right arm. Your elbow lock, tricep is lit up, your five fingers aim to the eye, strong kick. Stretch, you got that optional smile, 10 seconds, body down and kick, stretch forward and kick, and start kicking more, harder, four, three, reach forward and kick. Awesome, really, really good. Everybody working so hard. We'll keep it moving, right? We set to the back of your mat, we got our 10 second posture and most cardiovascular posture, working your heart as a muscle. So we got arms up, locks, so we go biceps against the head, 
palms tight. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen right leg, step, lock, and just do it. Quiet down, better be 10 fearless seconds, right? You know how it is, like that many heart attacks, you don't have a real one, so you're gonna go. Stretch forward, backward, fingertips, toes, like I'm pulling you from the front, back, feel like you're floating, stretch. Awesome, there it is, strong effort. Give me one more, right, 10 seconds, you're gonna lengthen. Left leg, step, lock in it, and hit that fearless button, and go, override the mind. Better suffer 10 seconds, then 10 years, stretch forward, Backward, fingertips, toes, open the body, bones to skin, literally stretching the heart as you tear our body apart. Stretch. And let's take it down a notch. We're gonna pivot whatever works for you, and we're gonna come to the left of the mat for separate leg stretching, and we. Lower the heart rate down, your head goes below your heart. So we find yourselves toes, heels together. We're gonna get arms up, lengthen, and make it a big step, four feet, right? Your mat's about six feet, so let's try to make it four feet, pretty big. We got heels in line, big toes in, stretch the arms out, and give me a swan dive down. Arms back, chest open, take it nice and slow. All right, so as we get down there, we initially meet that resistance and see what grip works for you today, right? For a lot of us, we bend the knees as you need to, but you can work to grab your heels from the outside. And if you tried, your heels aren't happening, all right, maybe you grab towards the baby toe, the ankles, or could always place the hands in front of you, being mindful of the first thing, loosening the back of legs, right? And for a lot of us, it takes time, right? It's not an overnight job, but most importantly, you're persistently pushing the knees back, lifting the hips, so little by little your legs are locked. Now, how do you know your legs are locked? Obviously, there's no bend in the knees, but most importantly, thighs are tight as can be. That protects the back of the legs, and then only we start to pull with the upper body strength. Inhale, strength. Exhale, as you pull, those elbows go right towards the cows. You pull, chest right through the window of the legs. I want you looking where you're going, else that forehead, happily on the floor between the toes. So we've got thighs tighter, Stomach in, roll more forward, pull more, get form floor, go pull. Get nice and down to your chance. You got arms out, chest open. All right, we're going to step right foot back. And as we get arms up and down, just give it a couple deep breaths, right? Letting all that settle. We are standing at the peak of the mountain. So, triangle pose working everything in the body starts out the same way. We get arms up. So we're gonna lengthen and give me that big step, four feet arms down, eye ankles below the wrist, we get arms down parallel to the floor. Now let's turn the right foot out parallel to the wall in front of you, push the hips forward a bit, and then we're gonna bounce, bounce into the right knee. Feet big bounces off that right side parallel to the floor, arms back, and we're gonna windmill the arms. So go right elbow in front of the right knee, left arm stretching up. So we're gonna do triangle pose now. Yeah, we're gonna do just one set of that one. Now gonna reach up, down. Keep reaching up, stretching down, left chin to the left shoulder, you're breathing and out of the nose. Now, here we go, engage the left thigh, stomach in and in. As you breathe and breathe, you keep reaching, stretching that line of energy, shooting through the chest, you go push into the knee, twist every back, open the chest, reach, touch your ceiling. Go all the way, so go right foot in, left foot out, all right, just switch it up. Left foot parallel to the wall in front of you. Push the hips forward, bounce into the left knee. Let's go bounce down and down low. All right, we're going to stay down low. We get arms back. Go left elbow in front of the left knee. Right arm stretching up. And now we're reaching up, right? Where is 12 o'clock? Reaching up to 12 o'clock. Left arm reaching down is 6 o'clock. And you're literally going tug of war between the fingertips. Let's go chin to the right shoulder. Got to breathe. Daddy. And out of the nose. Engage the right thigh. Now as you press the right foot, down to the floor, it's not not going anywhere as you go, push into the knee, twist up to your back, and for that open chest as you feel like you might just touch the ceiling. Awesome, there it is, let's so come out, we're gonna step right foot back, we get arms up and down, and we just wanna stand and fall and breathe, right? Working so hard, and then we give it a couple deep breaths to just reset. And you know, same thing, nice strong round two. It's downhill after this. So we get arms up, 
lengthen and take that big step. Four feet arms down, so you get ankles below the rest. Turn right foot out, parallel to the wall in front of you. Push the hips forward, let's bounce into the right knee. Give me a few big bounces to get your lowest point. Hold it low, freeze. Arms back, go. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Left arm stretching up. And at this point, I want you to feel like there's fire shooting through the fingertips. Scan all out, tug of war. Fingertip, fingertip without stopping intermissions. We go breath by breath. Every muscle contracted, engage the left thigh. Stomach in, keep it in as we push into the knee. Twist the body back, open the marriage between the heart, lungs, reach, ceiling to the sky, or space. Let's go one more. Last side set, right foot in, left foot out, push the hips forward, bounce into the left knee. Get down and down and low. Stay down and low. So you got arms back, go. Left elbow in front of the left knee, right arm stretching up. At this point, you got to go for it all out. Easier to go, 110% effort than 88% effort. So go, reaching, stretching without stopping. And it's breath by breath. You're never, ever anticipating when you might perhaps come out, right? More so appreciating you're working every muscle, joint, organ, gland as we back the right hip down a little, push into the knee, twist up pretty back. And where do we reach? Up, ceiling to the sky, or space. Awesome, so, so good, everybody. And let's come out, right foot back. We get arms up and down, and we stand tall and breathe. All right, downhill from there. A couple more, we're on the floor, standing separate leg forward to the knee. So we get arms up, hands in prayer, thumbs crossed. We're gonna lengthen step, three feet. Let's take that pivot on the heels. And you're gonna face wall in front of you, making sure that back foot is your left foot 45 degrees. Make sure it's a three foot step. Okay, now we're gonna reach up, turn in, and we're gonna round in, right? The idea is to curl into a ball. Understanding the more you round into it, the better you do. Now as you're down there, hands on either side of the foot, and then we're on that journey of getting exact forehead to exact knee. Many of us got to bend the knee to get forward in the knee. Normal, right? So you do so. And then you keep working the forward higher by rounding the spine, right? That's where you got to really work into your core, your stomach scooped in and in. Feel like your middle spine tractioning up, creating a nice hunch back. Now with the chin, and I want you to feel like your throat choking, compressing the thigh, power thigh, stabilizing weight, metabolism, and you go push, suffer, whatever it takes for it, a little teeny tiny, Something closer to the knee, a little bit's a lot. As you hold, freeze, hands in prayer so you could balance for three and a half, blissfully patient seconds. And slowly unwind the spine. And we're gonna press the right foot down. We're gonna stack vertebra slow. Build that control. Chins are gonna come out last. Awesome, let's take a pivot. Pivot one more time. Back foot in, the right foot. Now I'm gonna flex that right hip a few times. Square the hips. Lock the arms, and again, that throat choke, chin in, round in, and take your time. Understanding the, how you enter the posture determines the posture. The more you round in, the better. And then as you get down there, it's not rocket science, right? It's a very simple formula. The higher you get the forehead, the more benefits you get, right? And you know the other side of that formula, the higher you get the forehead, the more uncomfortable it is, right? But you know you're going through temporary suffering for lifetime benefits. So we've got to hollow out the stomach, push it on the floor. As you got to make it happen, it's not magically happening. Just go for it a little iron higher, throat choke, breathe normal. Now as we go, hands in prayer. Let's again test your balance, patience, three and a half seconds. Patience. And we're gonna slowly unwind. Okay, slower the better, building that core control. We're gonna mitch in, coming up last. And looking good, let's take that pivot, wrap it back, arms down. And let's close that as always, standing, uh, standing tree pose. So we got your toes, heels together, same spot on your mat. And we talked about this before, your left leg 10 feet below the ground. And let's lift the right leg up, grab the foot from the outside, work it up as high as you can under the thigh. Now feel like your leg is 10 feet below the ground. We go right hand in prayer close to the heart. And at the same time, we're literally growing up, lengthening the spine, chest, looking tall, proud. Feeling pretty sturdy and tree. Let's explore toe. Gonna look four feet in front of you. We hinge out the hips nice and slow. Eventually we're gonna go fingers to the floor. 
Now, if your fingers touch the floor, that's where we're gonna bend the knees, sit right on the heel. We walk arms alongside your hips like little training wheels, finding the balance with your stomach and lengthening the spine chest. Now, if you're ready to test balance, this will go left hand, right hand for Namaskar. Namaskar is we're gonna find your gaze, lifting it up. And that last little bit, lift off the heel, strengthen the knee and balance and focus. All right, good. Let's come back up to a stand opposite way, maneuvering back up to tree patiently, waiting. All right, we're going to go right leg down, and we're going to go one more. All right, so let's close that out nice, strong. Last one, left leg up, grab your foot, find your balance and focus. Right leg 10 feet below the ground, left hand in prayer, lengthening the spine chest. Now, if you have located your balance, focus, go to toe, four feet in front, hands down nice and slow. Little by little, fingers to the floor, bend the knee, sit down on the heel. Now sit down on the heel, we're gonna arms alongside your hips, balance from your core, stomach, and lengthening the spine, chest. And as again, you're ready to give it that test. We go left hand, right hand, namaskar position. We're gonna lift your gaze, and then lift off the heel, and strong and strong, last few seconds, wherever you are, concentrating, meditating. Looking good, toe stand. We're gonna come back up, meet up with tree. Nice, strong, patiently waiting. All right, good. Together we'll go left leg down. Give it that nice deep breath. Acknowledge your hard work. And we're finally gonna lay down, do nothing to receive everything of your hard work thus far. All right, so as we start to transition on the floor, Always starting your starting with savasana. Now savasana is the easiest posture to set up. We're just going to make sure your heels are together, feet float out, arms alongside, palms up. It's the easiest posture to set up, but it's the hardest posture to master, right? So we're learning to be still, right? Being physically still, challenging in itself, but on top of that, we are looking to be mentally still. So let's focus on your breath only. Nice deep inhale, belly rise, exhale, belly falls. And just you could take a few long deep breaths on your own. Just kind of allow your body to sink deeper and deeper before once you ultimately kind of feel like the floor is holding you up as if you're weightless. All right, so as we let that settle, we're gonna go into winter moving pose, Tavana Toss, so your toes, heels together for alignment. We go right leg up, tight grip right below the knee. 10 fingers involved, include the thumbs, gonna work the knee slightly out of the rib cage, pull steady down to the shoulder now, gaze down towards your chest, lengthen in the neck. Keep working the knee closer to the shoulder, so you gotta inhale for strength. Exhale, gonna pull as we go, stomach in and in. Biceps bulging and with any and all strength, pull, squeeze, closer to the shoulder, freeze. Good, nice stand, let's go right leg down, left leg up, now give it that tight 10 finger grip, maybe switch up the grip for some balance, opposite way, cross the thumbs, work the knees slightly out, down. Knees should be in steady root to your shoulder, each evolution of the breath working, not less, more. So we inhale for strength, Exhale, we pull with that steady pull. You can work in the knee closer to the shoulder, stomach in and in. Biceps bulging, deep breath. I want you to pull, squeeze so much. Your fingers change colors. Pull. All right, left leg down, both legs up. Look, grab opposite elbows over the knees. Now, if you're not at the elbows, no worries, right? But you're working towards it little by little, working up the forms. And then you're giving yourselves that big hug, right? That's the most important thing. Very big hug, each breath bigger. You inhale for strength. Exhale, gotta pull. And with that steady, constant pull, you inhale strength. 
exhale, pull. And as you hug yourself, not less, more, improve your digestive system. Deep breath, pull, squeeze, tighter, freeze. Awesome. And as soon as you release, I want you to hit that relax button just as you were. Arms alongside, palms up, and do breathe. Long and deep. Okay, wonderful. We let that settle and it's on to that first. Many sit-ups, toes, heels, touch, flex toes to the face, arms to the head, cross on the stomach, and I'm breathing calm. Up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees, nice stretch, and then we're going to turn around, lay down in the stomach, and these next four postures start up your spine, strengthening with cobra pose. Now, we're going to lay in the stomach here, getting your hands close to the chest. Line the fingers up with the tops of the shoulders. The elbows are up and into the body. As you get to zip up the leg, let's crazy go the heels together, feet press down, inhale, got to peel, chest up. Now, not a push up, now you got to peel, chest up, and look up, and we're on. Go, you go. So let's keep looking up, going up, chest up, look up, and as we tighten the legs, glutes, just go a little more. Can so do up, elbows in, and freeze. Awesome, really nice job. And so go slow on the way down. Left ear to the towel, arms to your side, and just give me a few deep breaths, right? Letting that settle. And of course, round two, same thing. Let's line fingers up, tops of the shoulders, elbows up into the body, and let's get an extra crazy go on those heels. Heels together, feet press down, inhale, gotta peel, chest up. No, not push ups again, peel, chest up, look. Up. Eventually, it's each and every rib off the floor, right? That's your intent. So just little by little, let's go for it. Chest up, look up, and as you tighten the legs, glutes, again, you can so do. Just up a little more and freeze. Awesome. Nice, strong hold. Right ear to the towel, arms to your side, and as soon as you hit the floor, is that deep inhale, exhale. Nice inhale, body rise off the floor a little bit. Exhale, slowly descends down, that up-down motion. Massages your internal organs as you relax. All right, locust pose, palms face down in the towel. We're trying to get the pinkies to touch, right? So we do that little shuffle back forth, lift the hips, go back forth, elbows, pinkies as close as you can. Not designed for comfort, right? Elbows, wrists, heard of it. We're opening them up. We got chin out, right leg solid and up 45 degrees. Now engage, right? I lock knee, point, toes to the back one. I'll shift a little way to the right shoulder leg, inch more higher, hold and release. Go right leg down and left leg up. Engage the left thigh, lock knee, point toes. Again, a punch a button on that back wall. Now we shift a little more weight of the left shoulder leg, teeny bit higher, hold still. And it's going to release it. Right now, on towel, kiss towel, get a rock, back forth, elbows closer, palms back. Give me one leg, crazy with those heels together, deep breath, and just go. Both legs up, 110 million percent effort. You shift all the way to the shoulders, all upper body strength, and just five more, four, three, a little more, two, one, and then slow on the way down. Shake it out, let it go, left ear to the towel, and a few deep breaths, and maybe feel a little tingly as in those elbows of the wrists, opening up the full range of motion of those joints. So let's go for round two. Palms face down in the towel. Could walk those pinkies up one by one, or walk those pinkies closer. And then chin is out. Right leg is solid, and right leg is up. And that's 45 degrees, half of 90, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, stretch, four, three, two, one. So you gotta relax the right, lock the left, lift now. So we got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, stretch, four, three, two, one. All right, mouth on towel, kiss the towel, elbows closer, palms flat. Make up your mind right now, 10 seconds. Give me that deep breath and just go, both legs. 10 seconds, 110% effort. I never care about how high you get up as long as you're trying to get higher, right? It's that effort, so push, struggle, go. Four, and that little more up. And then nice, slow, 
strong effort, complete relaxation, and those few deep breaths in between, letting it settle. Awesome, really nice, Dan. All right, it's time to fly. So let's get start spreading those wings out, airplane wings. We got chin out, crazy go those heels together. Now heels together, we're gonna press the hips down, give that deep breath in and everything up. We go arms up, chest up, it's eyes up, look up. Now you gotta breathe steady, now that was your fuel. Breath by breath, go chest up, legs up. And as you're spreading the wings and not flying down, everything, a little more, go fly. And then smooth land on the foot and cross land on the left ear to the tall. And you know, not only relaxing, refueling those long, deep breaths, filling up your tank with oxygen, energy for your practice. So you should be nice and refueled to fly again. Spread those wings out, tighten the leg up, extra crazy going those heels, chin out. Once again, press the hips down, deep breath, and then everything up. Arms up, chest up, and you look up. Now I gotta breathe steady and out of the nose. Since you gotta go breath by breath, chest up. Legs up and you're spreading those wings. I want you to feel like you might just fly into the sky. Fly. And then smooth land. Right here to the tail. Give me a few deep breaths. All right, let's go bow pose. We're gonna get that grip right below the toes. Outside grip, working the lower, middle, upper spine together. All right, once you get that outside grip, knees and feet together as best you can. We're going to press the hips down. Give it that deep breath and give it that strong kick. Now, as you kick, body peels up. And where do we look up? So we look up, kick up, and you breathe. Now, as you kick with the thighs glute, shoulders relaxed back. It's time to look higher and kick harder. So turn on, head up, kick. Awesome, there it is, good. Nice tree stance, here we go. Left ear to the towel, arms to your side. And we all know how it is, right? Especially those last couple of seconds, right? Gets pretty excruciating, working hard, right? But you give that little extra effort, so good. We're gonna integrate all that spinal work with those little extra efforts at the end. So we're gonna go down to 20 seconds of your day, get that grip and make up your mind, right? You can do this. You have an outside grip, knees, feet together. Once you have that, we're gonna press the hips down, deep breath, and give me strong, yeah, peel body up when you look up, and it's so simple. You kick up and look up and breathe. Now as you kick with the thighs, good. So we go shoulders, relax back. Now it's time to look, Higher kick hard, and you all know secret weapon is you smile and breathe and head up and kick and kick. There it is, so good. Right there it is, the last couple seconds, extra effort, pays huge dividends for your spine. Few deep breaths up on the spine. All right, we're gonna start push up, top of the towel, big firm pose, starting off with those knee ankle joints. And we know how it is, right? Each every day is a little different, especially if those knees, ankles. So your own pace, right? Feel it out. We're gonna look to sit in between the heels. You open the heels, hip width distance, you could ultimately sit in between. Now, if that's not comfortable for you, right? Stay a little more upright. And we all open the knees as much as you need to. Now, some of you comfortable, you got your butt on the floor. We're gonna grab each foot facing forward, and then we're going to go down right elbow, left elbow, and take it nice and slow. And you know the main idea here is not to torture yourself too much, just a little bit. Right? We go where it's a bit uncomfortable in those knees, ankles, that initial resistance, and then hold it there and breathe. Those long, deep breaths, we're in the healing zone, opening up. Some of you down there all the way, we're going to grab opposite elbows over the head, push the elbows down. Lift the stomach, chest, and go a few deep 
breaths together. Nice, long, deep inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. All right, give me one more. Flip your lungs. Empty them out. Gentle as you come up, one arm at a time. Making your way up, head comes up last. And then we do look to quickly turn around and lay down. And just use this time wisely, right? The more still you are, more benefits you receive as you allow that fresh blood synovial fluid rushing into those knees, ankles, making them very happy joints. And now next few postures designed to work deep into the spine. So let's get to it. Half tortoise, flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on a breathing calm. Up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. Let middle of your tongue, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. And once you're sitting on those heels, so we get arms up, lock. So we go hands in prayer, thumbs cross. Arms as far behind the ears. Now inhale, we're going to lengthen up. Now it's slow. X on the way down, right? Emphasis on slow, reaching forward, slower towards the end, building that core, ultimately your forehead, then the pinkies to the floor. Now down there, we're gotta stay after, right? Easy to be inactive here, but we're checking in that your arms are locked, no elbows, your palms are glued, sandwiched together like you're praying very deeply. Now we got stomach in and in, traction the tailbone back to the back wall, and we're looking to create that. Stretch forward, backward, like that 10 second posture minus balance, right? So let's breathe long, keep stretch, arms forward, tailbone backward, breathe long, stretch, stretch. Let's stretch a little more now with the knees, palms glued on a flat back. Hinge up slow, stomach and chin up, arms head together. Slow as you come up, arms float down. Not going to turn around. You're going to stand right up on those knees. Camel time, right? Deepest backward bend. So we're going to look to measure about two fists between the knees, six inches. Feet right behind. We're going to go hands on hips, fingers face down. So you've got your hands in the back pockets. Elbows as far behind the body, already opening the chest. Inhale, going to lift the chest up. Exhale, going to drop your head. Now, step one is just simply drop your head back, right? Let it go. Make sure you are breathing in and out of the nose. Now ease your way into it, right? Pushing the hips forward, lifting the chest up and up, gradually going back and back, right? You go back as far as you can. Ultimately, you're gonna see halfway down the wall behind you. And if that's the case, you could look to grab heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Otherwise, hands on hips is fine, right? Understand the most important thing Feel that stretch on the front side of the body, in the stomach, chest, throat, breathing long, deep, exhale, hips forward, forward, inhale, heart up, breathe long, finish strong, exhale, hips forward, forward, inhale, open heart up, as we go hands on hips, heads are going to come up, whatever comes up for you, you turn around, lay down, process it in Savasana. We all know how it is. A variety of stuff comes up. Some, some days you feel wonderful, some days not so much, right? But whatever the feeling is, only temporary, right? Just letting it go. Temporary sensations, leaving your body as you're opening yourself, breathing long, breathing deep. Let's go for round two. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach and breathing. Come up, double exhale, grab toes forward to the knees. Right again, top of the towel, stand top of the knees, measure about two fists between the knees, feet right behind. We're gonna go hands on hips, fingers face down. All right, so elbows as far behind the body. Ease it in. Inhale, we're gonna lift the chest, head, exhale, drop your head. Soon as you let the head go, right? Most importantly, you're breathing long, deep, and out of the nose. The moment you stop breathing long, deep, it's over, right? So we never stop breathing long and deep. Push the hips forward. Lift the chest gradually back. And if you see the middle of the wall, grab heels. If not, don't. And as you most importantly, exhale, hips forward. Forward, inhale, heart up. The whole front side of your body is wide open, open up the stomach, chest, throat, your breathe long, breathe deep. Now this is 10 seconds of your day. It's time to 
open you up, right? Not, not later, it's right about now. Breathe long, finish strong, exhale, hips forward, fart, inhale, lift, open heart up. Awesome, really, really good, everybody. Now, hands on hips, heads are gonna come up. And again, just whatever comes up, gotta turn around, lay down, and just breathe, right? Temporary sensation, few deep breaths, letting all that good work settle. All right, so we're always gonna complement that with rabbit, your deepest forward bend. Let's go strong fit up, sit up first, flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on a breathing comp, up, the black towel, grab toes, four to the knees, nice stretch, and let's come down, middle of your towel, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. All right, first thing, you're sitting on your heels, we're gonna wrap the towel over the heels, grab your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside, sitting upright. Now let's get, get that throat choke, chin in. Stomach in and round in. So the more you're curling into it, the better. So we're looking to go top of the head of the towel. Now, if there's a gap, you're gonna to try to walk knees to forehead as you can. And then let's make sure you got a tight grip on those heels. And as you pull, hand full of heel, gotta lift the hips up to the ceiling. Stomach in and in and roll forward like a wheel. And as you pull, hips up and up, you're gonna roll. Forward and forward, ultimately the arms gonna lock like you've got no elbows. You smush arms against the legs, shoulders up from the ears. Now just a handful of heel, pull stomach in, hips that little more up. Down, so go hips down, unravel slow, tuck that chin off, and it's that quick turn around, lay down in a ninja like back. All right, let's go round two. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach in, breathing, comp up, to black shell, grab toes. All right, once again, let's go middle of your towel, knees, feet, gather, sitting on your heels. All right, so you use towel, wrap it over the heels, grab heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Let's get that throat choke, chin in. Stomach in, take your time round in it. So we curl in, top of the head of the towel. And then if there's that gap, right, we try to walk knees to forehead one by one. And most importantly, again, you have to have that hand fully healed. Tight grip is what gives you leverage to pull. As you pull, you roll forward. So hips up and up, roll forward. Understanding you pull and roll forward, you're creating that opposite force. Newton's third law, you're opening, extending each every vertebra. So it's gonna hollow out the stomach. Roll forward, the arms lock. Now smush arms against the legs. I want you best as you can, smush those heels happily together. Press the feet down, down to the earth, that handful of heel, hips up, ceiling to the sky. Awesome, good effort. And then we unwind, spine, chin up, and that quick turn around, lay down, working right into that home truck. Two more postures, one set of each. All right, let's do it. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach under breathing, calm up to black toe, got toes forward to the knees. All right, so yeah, spin around, face cells in the front, separate leg stretch. We're gonna go right leg out about one o'clock, press the left foot against the thigh. It's gonna be arms up and interlock fingers. So we're gonna lengthen and twist right with your chin and throat chokes and round in. So curl into it, so you're gonna get forward to the knee. Now, most of us gotta bend the knee to get forward of the knee, right? Normal, we get a tight grip below the toes and then you just go for it. Little by little, every bit counts. Pushing the forward a little bit deeper, kicking the heel away from you, flexing the toes towards you. Now, some of you, right leg lock, you get elbows down, hugging the calves, and as your right leg lock, lift that heel off the floor a little half inch as you kick and flex and pull. Let's go out of the way. So switch up, so we go left leg out, right leg in, so you gotta, Lengthen and twist left, chin in and round in. Let's get forehead to knee, right? That's the name of the posture. Now, of course, if you could get hairline to the knee, I'm not gonna complain about that, right? So you go a little bit deeper wherever you are, forward a little higher, push the forward deeper into the knee, kick the heel out, flex the toes back. Little by little, kick, flex, left leg lock, elbows down on the couch, heel out, toes in and pull. All right, let's go both legs out and lay down. As soon as you're down, you are 
up. Double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. So as we take your middle and next finger, reach your them like hooks right around the big toes. Gonna do a little dance, shake your hips right, left, right, left, about 10 times, loosen up. All right, first thing, lock your legs. So you gotta kick the heels forward, flex toes to so the legs lock. Now, only if your legs lock, no bend in the knees, thighs tight, stand out of the waist. Inhale, lengthen, stretch up out of the waist. Exhale, pull up, chin forward, look forward, be, look where you're going. Ultimately, forward to the toes, so look at your toes. Get your forward closer to them. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. In forward, look forward. Inhale, exhale, forward, right, right of the toes. Pull. Awesome. Let's just lay right back where you are. Arms over the head. Let's go right for that nice, strong sit up. Double exhale, grab toes, forward to the knees. All right, as we go, final posture, spinal twist, face whatever way works for you. And we're going to start by bending the left knee. You got to line left knee with the belly flat on the floor. So go right foot up over the knee, flat down. Right arm behind the spine, keep it straight. Left arm up over the knee. And I got to push under the knee, look over the right shoulder and twist. Inhale, we're going to lengthen the spine, chest, head. Exhale, go over the shoulder. Now stomach in and in. Push into the knee. Now I want you to lean a little under the right hip. Lift the chest, head, look more, more over that right shoulder. See something new over that right shoulder. Get a twist. All right, let's go other way. We're going to bend the right knee, line the right knee with the belly. We're going to left foot up over the knee, flat down. And go left arm behind the spine. Left arm behind, so go right arm up over the knee. And so you got to push into the knee. Look over that left shoulder and twist. Once again, lengthening up, looking over. Inhale, so go lengthen the spine, chest, head, exhale, look. Over the shoulder now, stomach in and in. Push into the knee now as we lean a little bit on the left hip. Lift the chest out as you look over that left shoulder. Last chance, twist. And let's release, relax, turn in your back. All right, and as always, final sit up. We make it the best one yet. So toes, heels, touch, flex toes to the face, arms over the head, cross thumbs, stomach and our breathing, calm up. Double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. And close out, Kal Abhakti breathing, always that cleansing breath here. So we turn around, knees, feet, gather sitting on your heels. Once you're there, we're gonna grab your knees. So we got arms locked, spine straight, and focusing on that exhale. Exhale, stomach in, stale air out of the mouth. Moving together, follow this pace. Go. Stomach in, 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 stale air out, out, out. Stomach in, 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 stale air out, out, out. Stomach in, 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 stale air out, out, out. Go faster. Right now, stomach in, in, in. It's all coming out. Stale air thoughts. Anything you don't need, get out. Last 10, nine. Awesome job, bro. To seal a practice in whatever way works for you. And then as you have time here, so you could just lay down and give it some time to just melt into the floor. Final, final part, final savasa. So just lay down, do nothing, and let everything come to you. All right, so savasa, of course is a receptive posture, right? As you lay down, allowing your body to receive all the benefits, your body's innate intelligence is right now integrating and assimilating all that information from all those postures. So therapeutic for each every part of your body, head to toe, inside out, bones to skin. So feel free to spread out a little bit more, arms, legs, close your eyes. Always finding that anchor with your breath. Nice deep inhale, belly rise. Exhale, belly falls. And just stay with up, down motion, sinking deeper and deeper till eventually it's the floor holding you up. And we're gonna go a quick little scan of your body, top to bottom, so just gonna relax. Top of your head, top of your head, scalp, your hair, relax. Relaxing your forehead, relaxing your forehead. Relaxing your temples, your temples, all the way down into your cheekbones, your jaw, whole face, revitalize, relax, and it's going to be traveling down into your throat, relaxing your throat, opening up that passageway for air, breath, self-expression, finding that relaxation, all right, down into your shoulders, any tension there, melting away, no need to carry it around, sinking deeper into the shoulders, into the floor. 
following that relaxation down your arms, right into your biceps, biceps relax, your elbows revitalize, you charge your forearms, forearms relax, all the way into your wrists, fingers, revitalize, recharge, inside out, and then just finding that relaxation in the center of your chest, right, you're opening the heart, opening up the heart, Still feeling that up down motion in the torso, allowing the relaxation in the hips to sink deeper and deeper into the floor. And that relaxation traveling down your legs, relaxing your thighs, your thighs, revitalizing those knee joints, right? So important for supporting yourself throughout your day, relaxing the calf muscles, calf muscles, and of course, revitalizing those ankle joints. Also, so important for supporting yourself. Nice, strong posture. And then all the way down into your feet. Relaxing your feet all under the big toe, pinky toe, whole body inside out, revitalize, recharge. Let's give it a few deep breaths on your own. And then just remembering this relaxation you created. Most importantly, keep it with you throughout the day and do never let anybody steal your peace. Thank you all for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.